Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to install the Millennium mod for Minecraft on a Mac. I am using a mountain line, but this works for Snow Leopard and above. So first we need this program, the Unarchiver, or whatever. Uh, I've already got it, so you just push download, it'll appear up there and download and you launch it. Well, you install it first, so then it's installed. It already has a built-in uh, archiver thingy but uh, it doesn't like Minecraft at all. So then we go up here, go to your user thing and click on the library folder. Now if you're running Mountain Lion or Lion, the library folder will not be here. Uh, well, it's just hidden. So to get it up quickly, you go up to go, hold down the option button and it appears there. If you want a more permanent solution, if you want to have your library folder there like I've done, click on this video and it will show you how to permanently keep your library folder there. So it's not hidden. There is a fake library folder in here that does not contain what we want. So go in library, go to application support, then get down to Minecraft. And we want the bin folder. Here you'll see if the uh, Minecraft.jar thing. This is what it's launched from. So with the Unicover program you just downloaded and installed, you right click on it, open with the Unicover. That's the normal one, but it won't do what we want. So you just click on this and it will extract it, making a folder just called Minecraft. So we get rid of this, throw it in the trash, click on this, we need to rename it to put dot .jar on the end of it. Yeah, dot .jar on the end of it. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> so now it should uh, launch when we click on the shortcut. So back to here, we now want our forge. All these links will be in the description, by the way. So we want our Forge, and we want the latest version of it. The Forge site is really slow. And we want the uh, universal version, so AdFly or Direct. Click on AdFly, you uh, support the uh, modder. And the great thing about this, well, about Safari, it automatically extracts it for you. So we just click on here. See all the stuff. Uh, yep. All of this. I right, have just control A. Okay, we select all of that and we uh drag it into Minecraft World here, Minecraft.jar. Like so. We want to apply to all and replace. So we will move all those, replace everything. And now we want to get rid of this, because meta-inf means we can't install mods. So uh, drag that out, put it in the trash. So now we want to launch Minecraft for the uh, all the folders we made. Oh wow, what's this? So type in your username and log in with my horrendously slow typing. And this, if this appears, you've done it right. You've installed it right. You've extracted everything right. And now, if you got oh, this, well, we quit uh, Minecraft because it's done. And you see this folder called Mods. That's what you want to put uh, Millennia into. So go to Millennia. This is 4.2.2, but this tutorial works with down to 3.1. It says for 1.4.6, it does work for 1.7, oh, 1.4.7 as well. So we uh, download that. We wait. This um, this site is quite slow, so it might take a while to download. It's not my internet speed at all. Oh my gosh! Two minutes. Oh, hang on. Pause. Uh, finally, here we go. And now a uh, decompressor or extracted. That's the other word. So now, oops, lost it. Open that and open this you select these three folders oh, let's put mod folder so that's what we're going to do so all of these oh yeah it only, it only takes two things for some odd reason so you have to do it individually so you got those into mods now they're in mods that was weird so make sure they're in the mods folder and now when we start at minecraft again and log in Millionaire should uh, be there. So 
So we'll start a new game and there will be two little lines of text, well, two different colours of text down the bottom. And it also forwards actually so it shows it. So Millionaire, it's working there. Let's test by uh, starting a new game, create a new world. And after it builds the terrain, there should be two messages that pop up. Yeah, the Millennium World's a bit laggyish. Well, when it first does it. There we go, it's done! Aha! I hate Mac Mice for gaming <laughs> or anything. So that's the um, tutorial. It's super laggy for some odd reason. So that's how to install Millennium on Minecraft. Hope you enjoy. Blah!